Hi, I'm Emily from FaZe and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about body image. What it is, why it's important and what we can do to improve our thoughts about it. So firstly, what is body image? Well, body image is about how we see ourselves when we look in the mirror or when you picture ourselves in our minds. Body image is how we think and feel about ourselves physically and how we believe that other people see us as well. When we talk about body image, there are lots of ways that we can think about our body and the way that we look. You might find that there are times where you like your body or parts of your body and times with, when you really struggle with how you look. And that's totally normal for all of us. Body image can be a reflection of many things. It might be comparing how you look with friends or people that you follow on social media. It might be struggling to love and accept your body. It might be feeling as though your body shape is not represented in the media and finding that challenging. It might be hiding your body because you feel ashamed of it or struggling to find clothes to fit your body, particularly if you have a dis physical disability. It might be feeling misunderstood about your body and when people make assumptions about things, like why you might need a wheelchair. It might just be feeling like you're not attractive enough or like problems with your skin affect how you look. Having positive body image and being comfortable with your body is so important. And we know that it's not as simple as just saying to love the skin that you're in. Our bodies are constantly changing and none more so than during our teenage years. So as we try to get used to these physical changes, we can find ourselves unsure, unhappy, discontent or confused about our body compared to other people. As humans, we often compare ourselves to others and in fact, the media and advertising play on this. We've all seen lots of images on social media with people with the perfect body, the perfect hair, the perfect skin. We see influencers constantly selling products for a quick fix. And the more that we see these images and read the messages, it begins to influence how we feel and see ourselves. This in turn can lead to distorting how we feel about the body that we're in. And it can have a very negative impact on our body image. As you can probably see, I've got curly hair and as a teenager, I hated it and desperately wanted straight hair. I would straighten my hair multiple times a day and actually did so much damage. Over time, I've learned to embrace and love my curly hair, even though sometimes it's an absolute nightmare. But on the days where I straighten my hair, often just because it's easier, I just don't quite feel like myself. The truth is that some of the most unhappy and insecure people in the world are those that society says are the most attractive. That tells me that feeling secure and happy with myself isn't about how I look on the outside, but about something much deeper, about my perspective and who I think I am. Someone much wiser than me once said, you are a wonderfully made, unique masterpiece. And it may be hard to believe that with the influence of social media, with the images that we see that are filtered, photoshopped, edited, and made to create an unrealistic expectation on you and I. So what can we actually do about it? I want to share some thoughts with you on what you and I can do to improve our relationship with our bodies and our body image. Number one is to be kind to yourself. Try not to compare yourself with others and with what you see online. Remind yourself that too often these images have been changed to make them look perfect. Take notice of how social media is affecting you. Be aware of how Instagram, TikTok and other social media apps are having on how you feel about your body. If you've been scrolling and you're starting to feel anxious, inadequate, not good enough, insecure, then maybe you need to stop following certain accounts. Take time away from that app. And as you scroll, be intentionally reminding yourself that what you're seeing isn't real. Let go of what you can't control. Accept that you can't change everything about yourself. Really practical things like only looking in the mirror once a day. Taking photos, even if you feel a bit self-conscious. You might look back one day and think you look amazing or just be reminded of a fun memory. Go out and have fun and don't let worrying about what you look like hold you back. Focus on the good things. Take time to think about the things that you like about yourself and the parts of your body that you love. Appreciate them, appreciate yourself. Spend time with people that make you feel good. Take a moment now to think about those people that encourage you, that you leave feeling so much better about yourself rather than worse and aim to spend more time with them. Think about what you might say to a friend who was struggling with their body image or were having negative thoughts about themselves. Sometimes we need to listen to our own advice and put it into practice. 
talk to somebody that you trust. It might be your parents, those you live with, maybe it's a teacher, a member of staff at school, it might be a youth leader, but reach out to them. Let them know how you're feeling about your body image and let them walk through this with you. And finally, think about what you are saying to others. We can all play a part in helping each other and how we feel about our bodies and the way that we look. We can help accept one another as we are, enjoy the differences between us and create an environment where being you is perfectly fine. You can find FaZe on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at FaZe Hitchin and you can also look on our website for plenty more resources.